Hey guys, welcome back to the new career mode. It's a road to glory with Nottingham Forest. We're taking them back to their former glory and I'm so excited to get going. This is episode two, it's a big one. We're gonna be setting up our youth academy. We're gonna be making our final signing. We need a new central attacking midfielder. But before we do that, I wanna say a massive thank you for the positive support on the first episode. A lot of people really excited to see where we can go with this team. And I understand a few people a little bit disappointed that it's not a League Two side and going all the way up to the Premier League. And I do understand, but this is still gonna be a long series, but hopefully you're excited and you're gonna join me along the ride. Anyway, like I said, we're gonna be starting up the Youth Academy today. Hopefully we can get lucky with some of our scouts. And okay, we've got a pretty decent one here. We've got Stefan Matson, the Swedish guy, Five-star experience, three-star judgment, although 1.5 million pounds, that's quite a lot of money. And don't forget, we need to sign a cam, so I don't think I want to blow all my money on a scout, let's be honest, because we might only have, what, three or four million left over to then spend on a new signing. So I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go with the Englishman because we're in England. Some say that means if you put... The, the scout in their country and scouts in their own country that you get better players. I don't know if I believe that, but maybe it's true. £178,000, we're going to go with Harvey Mitchell. Are we going to get another good one? Preferably from someone like Spain. There you go. We also get uh, a couple of others here that we could use, but Federico Bolatti, three-star, three-star. He could be absolutely perfect. I wouldn't mind getting some Spanish players into the squad. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with two scouts and we will see how we go from there. We might get another third scout at some point, but we're going to go to England, of course, with the English scout. I'm going to go with defensive minded for nine months. That's going to be the English scout. And with Spain, I'm going to go for attacking. Um, or do we go for any and just kind of go? Yeah, let, let's go with any. Let's just hope we get something. Now, this is the exciting bit, if you ask me. We've got all three players scouted. We can see their uh, their overall and their stats and things like that. So, Geraldes, Geraldes, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. 74 rated. We've got Ryan Gould there, 73 rated. Labiad is 74 rated. And James Madison is 68. And he's got the highest wages. Straight away, it's like, nah, we're going to go with one of these three players here. Now, Labiad being 23, his potential is nowhere near as good as these guys. And he's going to be relatively the same price. I think I'm going to let him go as well. Although Labiad is one of my favourite all time players in FIFA. I'm not feeling it. I think it has to be one of these two players. And of course, they're both at the same club. What are the odds of that? I think if I'm honest, I'm more interested in Geraldes, not only because he's got a higher potential, but I think he fits my play style just that little bit more. Although Gould, you know, he's, he is the quicker player. You could say he's actually better on the ball. Actually, no. Marginally, I'd say Geraldes is better on the ball or Geraldes. I think we'll make offers for both, but hopefully we can get the player we want. So he's on eight. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's on 8,900 per week. That's not too bad, but we're looking at between 6.4 and 7.6 million pounds to sign him up. So we're going to have to offer another player. And I don't know who that's going to be. We've got a bunch of players that I don't really want to get rid of because they've been at the club for a while or whatever. Or actually, they're just quite handy to have as squad players. But to be honest, it has to be a sacrifice, doesn't it? So maybe we go with someone like Mills. I'm probably not going to use Mills, especially now that we've signed another centre-back. So let's try him. Not sure why Sporting would want him. And let's go in with £5 million. That's pretty much all we can afford unless I adjust the wages. Um, and that, that actually could work, couldn't it? We'll go with, go with Ryan Gould as well. Let's see if we can get him relatively cheaper. Um, I'll go in with £3.5 million and then I'll put Mills in as well. So he's going to have to be the player that gets swapped, unfortunately. Now, one thing I want to say as well, guys, because there is going to be so many fixtures, I don't want the first season to drag on forever. Hopefully you'll understand, but I'm going to simulate the EFL Cup. I'm going to play the FA Cup and the league, but the EFL Cup, I'm just not interested in right now. It's just more games. It wouldn't surprise me if we get knocked out in the first round, but that won't upset me. And there, yeah, there you go. So we have been knocked out in the first round. But like I said, I think that's actually going to be a good thing in the long run. It means we're going to keep fitness. It means that we can focus on the FA Cup and the league. And talking of the league, we're into the next match. And it's a tough one. It's Brighton away from home. They're actually near the top of the table right now in real life. So they're a good team. And we have a debut for Rick Van Drongelen. 17 years old. 
He was an absolute bargain. I think he's going to do really well for us in this team. Now, of course, in the first game of the season, we got a nil-nil draw, which was very disappointing. But I played well, so I'm hoping I can do well again today. But this time, actually score and get the three points. We might have a chance here with Cash. I'm going to pass that across. And now onto the left side here for Texera. Get a crossing, maybe. It's not the best of crosses, but we're going to get ourselves a corner. No? Oh, what? Here come Brighton on the attack. Oh, no. No, they've hit the post. We got very lucky there. Wow, okay. Brighton look dangerous when they get on the break. I need to be really strong defensively today. Here we go on the attack again. Do a little one-two. Now over the top for Cash. That's a lovely pass. Is he going to get there? He is. Get a crossing, maybe. Win the header. Win the header again. Come on. Yes, here's a Sombolonga. Finish it. Come on. Oh, that is so frustrating. Is that going to be a corner? It's another cold kick. Two minutes of injury time. This is going to be my last chance of the first half to score. Play that inside. And again, get a shot away maybe. Is that going out for a corner? Nope, he's going to keep it in, isn't he? And that's going to be half time. Okay, something isn't quite right now. Maybe, maybe this formation isn't going to work with this team. Maybe I need to switch it up. So I think I'm going to go with the 4-3-3. And hopefully that will give us a little bit more width. I feel like everything's going through the middle. I'm going to pass it out on the wings. Try and cut inside or cross it. And a Sombolonga should be there to finish it, hopefully. Straight away, I feel like I do have a little bit more space to play around with, but still struggling to get the ball up there. I mean, look at that pass. That is absolutely shocking from a Sombolonga. I need to get my passes right, otherwise I'm never going to score. I'm starting to warm up a little bit now. I am starting to play a little bit better. Can I put that one through? Yes, I can. Here's Cash. Please finish it. Oh my god, Dunk. That is world-class defending right there. Come on. Yes, that's good. This has to be a goal. Come on. Through for cash. Yes! Finally. Please finish this. Come on! There we go, guys. It's cash. He's earning his cash. If he scores goals and wins us games, he will definitely be earning his wages. That's for sure. Decent pass through from a somber longer. His passing is shocking, by the way. But that is a nice low-driven finish, and that should give us the win against a very good Brighton side. Oh, no. 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 And I'm going to throw it away just like that. It's just one of those days. It really is. I'm not actually sure what happened here. He went for the long shot and he's assisted himself with his back. He's literally like Ronaldinho-esque. He's assisted someone with his back, but himself. Wow. Okay, six minutes to score another goal now. Otherwise, we're going to get another draw. Come on, we can do it. Oh, look at the space on the right. Yes, we can do it. Please, you've got to score this. Please. Oh my god, that's actually shocking. Ari Yibi had to score that. And that is the end of the game. Again, though, don't forget, this is Brighton. They are going to be up there at the end of the season. And I think in the long run, a draw won't be a bad result. But I've thrown that away. I should have won this game. Okay, so this is a little bit weird. As you know, we offered Mills in two of our deals. They've both been rejected. And then we suddenly get an offer. I mean, that is a little bit funny, isn't it? Now, QPR want to sign him for 750000 I reckon I can get a little bit more, maybe nine fifty. Every little helps. We do need to get as much money as we can out of our signings and our transfers out because, you know, we don't have that much money to play with. I'm so used to having lots of money. So, unfortunately, those deals are not going to go through. So, I guess we go back in with an offer without a player and just hope for the best, really. I'm going to go in with £6.5 We can afford it. Because I can adjust the wages. With Ryan Gould though, 6.5 seems a little bit too much. So maybe we go in with 3.5. Remove Mills and we'll see what they say. Right, so it's good news regarding the QPR deal. They are accepting 950000 as a counter for Matthew Mills. So that's good news. But the bad news is Sporting are not interested in that kind of money for both players. They want £10 million for Geraldes and they want £7 million for Ryan Gould. We can't really afford 10, but we can afford 7. But maybe there's still another player we can offer. Maybe a player that's really high on wages, you know, that can just kind of balance it out a little bit. There's Jamie Ward. Oh, I don't think we're going to need him. There's Jack Hobbs. There's Cohen. He's worth 1.1 million. See, these are the kind of things I need to take into consideration. They may be players that I can use, but if they're offered in a deal which helps me get better players in then that sometimes is the way it has to be. Maybe Mancien, 1.4 million. 2.5 million for a Sombolonga. 
2.3 million for Kasami. Ah, okay. Now that's interesting because I don't like him. Kasami, after playing with him twice now, um, in the first game at least, he just he didn't he didn't feel good. He feels really clunky. 72 rated at 24. I'm just gonna offer him. Kasami plus 6.5 million. That should be something we can work with, hopefully. We'll do the same with Ryan Gould. We'll leave the money that we've offered and just offer Kasami as a part of the deal. I mean, basically, whoever we sign is replacing Kasami anyway. But now, guys, we're moving into the next game. Another away game. This time, it's Brentford. And I need a win today after two draws. Can I get a shot away, maybe? I'm going to have to try. Not a bad shot at all. Bentley pulls off a save. Put a ball over the top. That's nice again. Try and get a cross in. Go on, a Sombolonga. No, it's just ahead of him. That would have been such a nice goal over the top. Yes, that's a good ball. Here's Cash. It's a good first touch. Into the ball, into the box, I mean. And yes, we're in. Oh, what a relief that is. We do get a goal, guys. And it's Ariyibi. Ariyibi. It's such a weird name, that. But I'll get used to it. Decent cross in. Nice header. I'm going to use that pace he's got. He's so quick. Get a cross in. Oh, go on, Cash. Go on. Oh, it's the second header. And we're 2-0 up just before half time. That is absolutely perfect timing. What a cross from Ari Yibi. He is proving to be a very good player as well. Him and Osborne carrying this team. And the referee blows his whistle. Honestly, I love it when I score just before the whistle. I would love to get a third goal and wrap this up. Here's a Somba Longa. I'm going to try and go inside with a bit of skill. Oh, he saw it coming. We're playing so well though today. I'm really proud of the team. I do think we definitely need that one more special type of player in there. Hopefully we'll sign either Gold or Gereldes because they will go in. They will slot in perfectly. Now the corner's coming in. Should deal with that. Well done. Now Osborne's going to chase it. What a first touch. We're in. We're in for a third goal here. He's running out of stamina though. Look how slow he is. Keep running. Now pass it inside. Asomba Longa's in. Can he score it? No. He can't. We'll get the corner in though. And Worrell's there. He wins the header. Oh, it's just over the bar. Three minutes of injury time. And we've won the ball. Can we get that third goal? It's been elusive so far. Let's see if we can put that through for a Somba Longa. Is he going to get there? No, he's not. But that will be the end of the game now. We get our first three points of the league season. And it's a really good performance as well. So I'm really pleased. Really? A Somba Longa says he wants to be transferred. My God. Why? Every career mode. Why does this happen? It's so frustrating. So now we've got an issue where... We either loan him out and then just recall him, or we actually sell him. And to be honest, I'm not very impressed with him so far. Not very good. Uh, I need to think about this. I think what we'll do is we'll look at some other strikers. We'll see what's out there. And maybe we're going to have to just bring someone in. So there was one striker I instantly thought about. And that is Victor here, who plays for Wolfsburg. Victor Osimhen. He is, I believe, Nigerian. And yeah, he is. He's very strong. He's very quick. He's got decent finishing, I'm hoping. 59 to 69, well, we can work on that. Could be ideal to replace him. The question is, do we offer a Sombolonga in a swap deal? Or do I sell a Sombolonga for as much money as possible and then make a bid on this guy? I think that's what we're going to have to do. So I'm going to scout him, add him to my shortlist. We'll inquire as well, just to get a rough price. But I might add a couple more to the shortlist, just in case this guy doesn't work out. Now, another player we could look at here is Tammy. He's a striker playing at Bristol City. He looks like he could be very good. Pretty high wages, but this is the kind of player that I could easily do a swap deal with. Maybe they will just take a Somba Longa and give us Tammy. I don't know. We can try it. Let's see if we can get that working. I mean, Somba Longa's worth two and a half million. If I throw in a million plus a Somba Longa, Maybe that'll work. Well, this doesn't help. This makes things a little bit more confusing. Bournemouth have offered 2.9 million for him. And Burnley have also offered 2.8 million. So both Premier League clubs. And I, po I probably could squeeze out a bit more money. I'm going to try something a bit stupid here. But I'm going to ask for 5.5 million. So once again, Sporting have declined both offers we made. But right now, I'm focusing on a Somba Longa. Because we need to get this sorted. And it's good news. 1 million plus Brits a Somba Longa is enough to get Tammy. So we'll go up to 20,000 per week. That's a lot of money, but he's English. He's got high potential, things like that. Well, not massively high. I think it's 83, maybe 84, something like that. He will do a great job for us, I'm sure. So it's worth it. We'll go for five years. Crucial first team player. 
Hopefully we won't have any issues with him accepting that contract. Now, we go back in for Ryan Gould and Garoldes. Who, well, what do we do? Kasami isn't, it's not someone they're interested in. So can we go for someone else? And I don't know who. It's so, so difficult this. It might have to be Mancien. But again, why would they want Mancien? It might just have to be cash, guys. Oh, this is a nightmare. Okay, let's take out Kasami. Let's offer 5.5 million and see what they say to that. Probably not going to be enough for Gould. And Geraldes is going to be even harder. It's annoying that we can't ask for any money, isn't it? Why did they remove that? Maybe we try... Maybe we try Mancien. Nah, actually no. We're going to offer just straight up money. Let's go for 8.5 million. It's going to leave us a little bit tight in terms of our finances. But it means we get a proper good player. But for now, guys, that is going to be the end of episode two. This is the championship table at the moment. It hasn't been the best start ever, but we finally got our first win. And in three games, we haven't lost. So we're doing OK. The usual teams that you would expect to be at the top are there. We've got Newcastle, Brighton are there, Aston Villa, Cardiff, Leeds are up there as well. There are a lot of teams in this league that I can see being right up there. And we've got to be there come the end of the season. Top six is an absolute must. Thank you for watching. Please do leave a like rating again. I'd really appreciate it. When you're watching these videos, if at some point you think this is a good video, just hit the thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed as well. And I'll catch you in episode three very soon.